What is up everybody? It is Pilot here. Let's go over the new toolbar that's been brought to us by Parallel42 called Flow for the Console. Flow brings us a highly intuitive and easy to navigate in-game interaction wheel into the flight simulator. Essentials include a collection of custom widgets built by Parallel42. Find your friends, teleport, change servers, fine tune the time of day, instantly swap weather presets, discover tucked away camera angles, toggle landing gear, and more. They've also bundled widgets for all most popular actions you want so you don't have to write them. This allows you to do things on the fly in the sim without having to press pause. All right, so some core features of this is fully resizable interface elements with built for individuals with vision impairment and uh, cognitive or motor difficulties to expect beyond the default toolbar. Access your currently installed Microsoft Flight Center panels, default or third party. Works in SIM without external app requirements. No measurable performance impact. Sleek and intuitive interaction wheel alternative to the default toolbar. Custom wheel layouts arrange panels to your needs. Wheel show hide can be bound to any assigned key or button. Static and dynamic wheels. Static always show and dynamic show only in specific aircraft. It is also Xbox controller optimized. Now, it has easy access, so you can have the wheel appear where your mouse is located or always centered on screen. Find a button or a key for quick access to the wheel. It's your flow. Add, remove, or rearrange widgets to your liking. You can even create additional pages and scroll through them in the sim. With flow, you can create your own menu system and prioritize the items that most matter to you. It can also be aircraft specific, y'all. So this means dynamic needs are blue and customizable per aircraft, allowing you to select specific tools you need based on your current flying style. For example, you could have IFR tools in the PLMDG 737, or you could have VFR tools in your Parallel 42 Fox. You want to keep the default bar, you can. The default toolbar can be enabled or disabled from the flow settings. They even make it prettier for you by removing the white triangle. So that's out of your way up top. I know a lot of times when you're making footage, that becomes a pain. Really cool feature is custom nameplates. Customize the panel appearance and multiplayer titles. Changing the approach automatically just between day and night cycles to maximize visibility. Choose between showing nameplates for everyone or just your friends. You can personalize the letter style, size, even the color, or even show high additional flight data such as aircraft type and location. You also have things like a portal panel, guys, where you can find friends online within the sim and teleport automatically to them. You can also find your favorite airports to quickly browse conditions on the ground. You have quick access to different camera angles. You can fine tune the time, the weather, or your position. So let's go ahead and take the first look at this. I have not messed around with this at all. So this is my first time actually seeing how it works. So let's go through it together. Okay guys, so here we are. And then if y'all didn't know, this is $15, like I said, and this is the essential version. This is not the pro version. There's two versions of this. The pro version gives you things like script and stuff and a few other versions uh, that are just a few other things you can do. They're just not available on the console, but the essential version is more than enough. So here we are. It says, goodbye to a bar, hello flow. Quick tutorial will help you get started while using the new system. So let's go through it, guys. All right, enable and disabling flow. You can en enable, disable, or restart flow from the default MSFS toolbar by clicking this icon. It will automatically re-enable the time you load into a flight. Okay, well that's cool. To keep default toolbar, we can disable this for you. You could always visit settings if you can change your bod. Okay. I'm gonna keep it for now because I don't wanna customize some stuff. Access widgets quickly from the wheel. Hit escape or the three lines. You can just enter a pause menu. Navigate to control options. Assign a key button to help menu. When completed, press the assigned keys slash button to continue. Okay, so... Control options. Um, let's go to keyboard. Help menu. Hmm. So it's tab. Okay.
Ghost at dynamic wills. Ghost wills dimmed, all invisible in the editor. Static wills white, always visible. Dynamic wills blue, only showed a specific aircraft. You can access flow settings in the top right of the main screen when the wheel is visible or during initialization. So that's right up here, guys. Boom. Keep in touch. Okay, we will do that later. Is it done? Okay, so here is the toolbar. Okay, that does that. Radio. So we have a few things here. Quick access. So we hit tab, it comes right up. So that's the portal, position, time, weather, weight and balance panel, cameras. This works on any tile. And I guess you could add things over here. So let's real quick, let's go to the settings. Map and tutorials, interface, the wheel, simulation, so nameplates, okay. Because my play style, other mods might conflict with this feature. We'll only show friends in range. Name scale and data scale. Add on color. Color friends differently. I want red. Um, will that work? Updates. You have update thing there. Okay, so that's pretty cool how you can only show your friends if you want to only show them. So that's cool, depending on certain things that you're doing. I don't know if that's going to work or if I actually need the color. Okay, how did this get up here? So that would be my position. Oh, it did work. So there's my buddy right there, Extreme Ninja. His letters are in red. Y'all see that? So that is really cool. Okay, so let's go back to the settings. So let's go back to nameplates. Um, so we could do things. So we did that. So it did take the color. So that was great. It did take red. Background color. Well, I think I'll just leave them like that for now. The wheel. Always centered. So that'll keep it always centered. Fix active pulse. Disables flight controls. Eliminates fuel consumption during active pulse. Okay, well that's cool. Force uppercase.
Okay, so let's go back and look at my friend over here real fast. Where did he go? There he is. So that's really cool. So you can make the, the, you know, the color of your friend's names different. So that is really, really neat. Love that. Okay, go back to tab. So, that, so let's check out some of the more cool stuff about this. So time. So like I said, this is all being done with, with Alda's having to pulse the sim. So we come down here, change time, and look at that. That is cool. Change the date too. I do want to see how his name looks in the dark. Oh, that's plenty clear. Okay. Without having to put a white background to it. That is cool. What is this? A lock. You can lock the time. Okay. Now the position. Now this is where we are. So let's zoom out. Wow. You can get a really good view of where you're at. Okay. Much better. Much better than bringing up our VFR map. Okay, weight and balance panel. So you can get to this really quick. That is cool. So these are the different camera angles. Wow. You got, so you could set some as well. Drone mode. Okay, it's gonna be really good for footage, for sure. Follow aircraft. All that, okay, well that is cool. Super cool, like I gotta get a picture of that because that looks so good. Gotta make that like the thumbnail photo, guys. Um, okay, let's continue on. So the weather. Oh, look at that, tells us the weather right now. Well, even though mine is set to this, I don't have it set to actual live weather right now. You could go to live weather. You could set this, tropical rays, little clouds. It's not actually live weather right now. I got my live weather turned off in the settings. But uh, that is really cool and it's much more user friendly. I mean, look at this. It tells you the wind as well that's with it. I mean, this is just freaking cool. Tells you barometer. Okay. Now the portal. So this would be, I guess, to teleport. So these are my online friends. So she is beside me. So I mean, I want to be going far, but if I click him and click go, going to French Ninja. Wait for Timmy to load. This could take a minute. And he's already here, but it did move me. That was super cool that that works like that. Okay, so we also have some other things. So let's see what else we got here. Toggle Master Battery. Toggle Avionics Master. Nav lights, beacon lights. 
landing gear up and down, do all lights. RPMs, reset barometer, ACF orient, Um, let's go to, so we have our radios, so our comms, our squat code, our transponder, COM1, COM2 active, we have our standby code, so that's really easy to access. Got the camera again here. So Fox 2, so this could be where you, where you could customize a window for this aircraft right here alone you could add things to this so you could make separate ones for different airplanes like they said so real quick let's get back inside the plane Okay, turn all that off. Now, okay, so we click that, no. Okay, so I do see down here that my friend's name is colored different, so we could go to this here. Well, that's not my friend, that's just a random person actually. But, uh, so their name is like black. So I want to make it with their names, I don't want their names black. Color friends differently, so this would be anybody. So let's do what we had before. Uh, let's do yellow. There we go. Now let's see what this is. Now if I put say gray. wonder how this will look let's check that out real fast y'all oh that's the outline color okay well, that makes it more visible okay so so let's say for my friends let's do something that makes it more easy to tell let's say white I don't want a box Okay, and we're going to do a little wheel customization. Okay, why is it a little bright? I'll do a different color. Okay, so let's go back to this again. Loving it. So I wonder if I can put the carrier controls on here. Oh, there we go. Hit tab. Um, interface. Okay, so the wheel. Always centered. Keep open. Okay. Dev tool. Safe mode. Toolbox Manager allows you to save and manage some scripts inside the Toolbox Little Editor. Reset battery, transponder. So I guess where you could add different things. Static Wheel S1, so I guess you can name it. Yeah. get out of that let's go back to tab um, to edit tiles okay so you click and hold on that so what do you have weather on there 
So you can add a folder on there, which would have more options. Tutorials, cameras. I don't want updates on there. Toolbox manager. Core widgets. Okay, so you could add some autopilot functions. I see. Um, you could add some door functions, electrical functions, engine functions, game, um, game servers. That would be something I would like to add. Automatic server. West Europe. All that stuff. Okay, so that puts East server on there. Lights, panels, position, radios, time of day weather, if we have that. So this would be like for all, all the things here. So this is where you could customize things. Toggle active pause. Toggle 3D thermals, okay. Uh, increase sim rate. In the doors so I wonder if I wanted to actually click on that one and if I named it let's say we named it sim tools They made an icon, so they have a bunch of icons here. You could choose things. <laughs> Boy with the cowboy hat. Okay. Okay, we'll pass on that. But okay, so now, so this will give you a whole another folder. So I can go in here and do quick things like, that I wanted to do, like um, to click this box and then put a toggle active pause there. And then I could go here and do sim rate increase, then do sim rate decrease. And then add things like automatic server to there or I got the position oh I can add carrier controls and ATC okay so let's jump out of that real fast jump out of that Pull that there. We're going to remove that one. Okay, so okay, so we could go to we could make a we could make like another folder for stuff I say I used a lot. So we could click on this here, add a folder, and then we could call it something like uh lane controls if I type in plane will it show me okay now just go back down here to things um, like uh,
Well, I gotta click this, get into the folder. We could then click add fuel. We could go down. We don't need that. We already have lights on one page. Um, we have time of day, so I could go down to. Reset barometer. We already got the lights, so we're not worried about the lights. Okay, so you can do things like autopilot on. And I can do things like autopilot altitude, then like a quick nav heading. That'd be cool to have. They just add something like doors. Like door one. Door two. And we just do that for now because I'm just with all this later. I want to make this too long for y'all, but just going through this, this is just so freaking neat. I wonder if I click this. Y'all saw that? My door just opened. Okay, that was really cool. Okay. Door two opens. Okay, let's go back to this. Okay, I wanted to add something here. So, oh, forgetting how to use so hold. There we go. And then it was under. I saw it. It was under. What was it under? We got settings. Game. Oh, no, it wasn't game. The panel. So I want to move the carriers on here. So that's cool. Then I want to add the checklist on here. You got to think about the flight assistant as well. Um, exit editor. So I click on my carrier controls so they come up. Oh, they do. So if I go back to plane control sim tools. go back to game because I would like to add our panels because I would like to add say ATC and then we'll add one more which I would like to add the assistant and oh yeah and nav log The format, weather, so we don't need all that. Oh yeah, I got my camp out too. I'll add that to my kit box. But all right, so yeah guys, so that's just a quick go through of just some cool things you could do with this toolbar. 
Oh, there's obviously a lot you could do here. Click that again, you go back to this. But uh, as you see, there's a lot you can do here with this. Uh, highly gets my approval, guys. I think this is one of the best things that's come to console in a very long time. But I don't want to make this video crazy long. All I'm going to tell you all is get it. Like, so you click here and you can make a custom profile for each different plane, guys. But uh, I'll see you on my next video. Let me know what y'all personally think about it. As always, guys, I am Pilot83. See you on my next video. Peace. If you made it this far, thank you so much. If you like this video and you feel like I earned your subscription, please hit that subscribe button and that like button so you don't miss out. Until next time, guys, see you in the air.